All right, YouTube, what's going on today? It's Junior, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, a new Call of Duty Ghost update that just came out. Um, and I believe it was a 2.8 gigabyte update on Xbox One. I'm not sure what it is on other platforms, but it should be around there. Um, it's actually That's actually a pretty big update for... Uh, it doesn't seem like they did much. They did change like the net coding of the game. So I'm going to talk about that real quick. And then they also added six more camos. Yeah, so we have a lot of camos on this game. Um, so first off, uh, in the competitive community, the vector has been a real problem because it's just it's so overpowered that it outshoots um, SMGs all the other SMGs, and assault rifles at long range. So it basically makes an assault rifles not a viable choice for uh, competitive, and it definitely needs a nerf. And when we found out that they were going to be updating Ghosts again after Anaheim, um, we thought it was going to be like it was before, where they nerfed the MTAR, and the, uh, after that, it was the bison um turns out though they did not nerf the vector and so it's still extremely overpowered everybody was like get your time in with it while you can and it's still going so that gun definitely needs a nerf i really hope they do that in the next update i don't know why they didn't but um what i do know is that there was a mechanic in the game where if you got a headshot and a body shot, the person would die. And that's why you'd see people drop really fast and you don't know why you're getting these kills so quickly compared to other kills where you just get hit markers for days. And that's why. So they took that mechanic out. So that should happen less frequently now. Um, and then the other thing was they messed up. I'm not sure what they were trying to do here, but they messed up uh, planting and diffusing bombs to where like, Sometimes you wouldn't be able to do it. So that actually cost me a GB. And they hot fixed it the next day. So that should not happen anymore. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed that at all. Uh, for like one day there. Um, but I don't know anything else about the update besides for the camos. You probably look up patch notes. That's probably about it. But like I said, it was a really big update. Almost at 3 gigabytes. And... Uh, it doesn't seem like they did a whole lot, but we're going to take a look at these camos real quick. So we've got Leopard, Abstract, Hydra, Skulls, Tattoo, and Nebula on top of all of these camos already. Um, so we, we definitely have a lot of camos already in the game. And I think from the new update, Abstract is definitely my favorite. I love this camo. It just looks great. I've seen a lot of people buy that and Hydra. As well as Nebula, which is basically just space cats without the cats, kind of. Um, so I'm not a big fan of that. But uh, but uh, apparently a lot of people are. So, um, so the new patches for them. Here we've got Spaced Out. Looks like Skulls. That's probably Tattoo. No, that's Tattoo. And that's Skulls. And then we've got Hydra, um, Abstract, and Leopard. And then for, for backgrounds, we've got Nebula, um, Tattoo, Skulls, Hydra, Abstract, and Leopard again. I think the Abstract and Leopard backgrounds look sweet, but um, yeah. And then uh, they also added some new uniforms um, based off camos that have already come out. So we've got Bling, Inferno, and Blunt Force. Um, I know a lot of people have bought this camo. I'm sure there are a lot of people running around with that. And they just came out with American or uh, Resistance, which is like an American-themed uh, camo or uh, uniform pack. And then Spectrum uh, uniform, as well as uh, Extinction. So uh, there's also um, headgear for those. That's, that's all they added. So And then there's something going on with gender. It only says male and female, but it's telling me there's something new here. So maybe I don't I don't know where they're going with that, but um, I think that's just a glitch. 
Um, but let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite camos are, if you bought any of them. Like I said, I've seen a lot of Nebula, Hydra, and Abstract. I think they did a much better job with this set of camos than they did with the last. But again, it's my own, own opinion. Um, so remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, more videos will be coming soon. I recorded some Titanfall gameplay for my next weekly update. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.